What is poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at yet another LEGO custom. Today we're taking a look at Parsifal from Seven Deadly Sins, The Four Knights of the Apocalypse, or The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be honest, there was a couple of figures which I did want to make. I wanted to make uh, my favourite character, which is Don, but I don't have any purple, pinkish, reddish hair to actually use for him. And I didn't think Parsifal was a very interesting character to make, so I didn't really want to do him, but then I thought, you know what, he's the main character, so I sort of have to do him if I'm going to make anyone else in LEGO. So here he is, and the parts that I am using is a very common Luke Skywalker headpiece for him. I'm using the hair from the LEGO Joker from the DC wave and I'm also using the torso from Aaron from the Lego Dragons Rising Ninjago series and the legs are from Will Byers from Stranger Things and I'm going to be honest, he has magic and he is going to be one of the four knights of the apocalypse. He's going to be one of the characters that does bring about the end of the world. And he doesn't want to believe it. He doesn't want to make that so. But his magic is like a hero magic, which can adapt to anything he needs. And he's one of the few people in the world that can do it. So it's basically just his magic can do whatever the plot it needs it to do at that moment in time. Basically, he can do whatever he wants when he wants, as long as the plot demands it. So, it is one of those lazily written characters who can do whatever he needs to do at any given moment with his special hero magic, which is a mix of every single kind of magic, and he's one of the few people who has it, and that's why he's going to be one of the four horsemen of the world. And I think that's very lazy writing, and a very lazy character plot point that I've seen way too much in anime, where they can't give him a set power because they want it to be versatile and be used to be able to do whatever they need it to in the moment. It's, it's just very lazy, very pointless, and doesn't stick for a main character. It makes it feel lazy, it makes it feel like there's no point in watching because there's no threat, because his magic can do whatever it needs him to do. His magic is always there to sort of help him out, because that's what it's there for. His magic is just there to be a plot device to get them out of any situation they put them in. He is a stupid kid as well. He is 16, and he's ridiculously strong because he's trained every single day of his life for the past 16 years with his grandfather on top of this sort of mountain. And then his father arrives, uh, which kills his granddad, and then he sets off on his journey, and he makes a load of friends, and he's a very happy, positive kid. Even though his granddad has just died, he's still very happy and positive, cheery, and constantly got a smile on his face. And he wants to do good by the people, and wants to protect them no matter what. So he's the very stereotypical hero, with the very boring power. So he's not a very interesting character, and one which I didn't really care for. I much preferred Donnie, who was more of a coward, who had a weaker magic, but he was able to use it in creative ways to help the situation out. And he he may run away, but he always came back ready to fight, and everyone thought he was weak and pointless, and I just loved him. I love Donnie. He's a much better, more interesting character than this guy, and I feel like when you have a, a basic sort of character like this as your main character who can fit into any puzzle shape you want him to, it's not very interesting. It leads to a boring series. 